Hello everyone. Welcome back to another informative and interesting session. Today we are going to focus on matter, solid, liquid and gas. Children, when we look around, we see various things, some of which happen naturally in the environment, while others are created by humans. These things come in different shapes, sizes and colors, but they all have something in common. They have weight and they occupy space. So everything in the world that occupies space and has weight is called matter. Matter is made up of many tiny particles. These tiny particles are called molecules. Look here, this is a bowl. Now I am going to place this bowl on the table. What do you notice? Yes, the bowl occupies the space of the table. And if I put the bowl on a weighing machine, it will show that the bowl has weight. So that means bowl is a matter. States of matter and their properties. Different things exist in different forms called states. There are three states of matter. They are solid, liquid and gas. Let's learn about solid. Things such as pen, pencil, ball, stones, etc. have a fixed shape and size. They do not flow and cannot be poured into containers. Such things are called solids. In solid states, the particles hold together very tightly. That is why solids have definite shape and volume. When you move a solid from one container to another, it keeps its shape same and does not change. Liquids Things such as water, oil and milk do not have a fixed shape but have definite volume. They flow easily. and take the shape of the container in which they are poured. Such things are called liquids. In liquid state, the particles are not so closely packed like solids. That is why they move around and flow more freely. Gases Gases don't have a fixed shape and a definite volume. They can spread out and take up the shape of any container in which it is filled. Gases can be squeezed or compressed. Gases are all around us, but most gases cannot be seen. They are invisible. Air is a mixture of many gases. Like liquid, gases can flow easily. They can move around and mix with other gases. In gaseous state, the particles are very far away from each other. They are not closely packed like solid. That is why gas can flow easily. Example of gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen. Forms of water Actually, water exists in three forms on earth. Those three forms of water are water in solid form, ice, water in liquid form, rain or water itself. 
water in vapor form steam or gas so three forms of water are ice water and steam water in solid form on earth water is found in solid form as ice snow glaciers etc water in liquid form a large portion of water on earth is present in liquid form ocean rain seas lakes rivers ponds and ground water are the main sources of the liquid form of water water in vapor form water vapor is always present in the air around us we cannot see it so water is present in mainly three states solid liquid and gas or vapor change of state matter can change from one form to another by heating or cooling this is called a change of state like solid to liquid liquid to gas gas to solid and also in the reverse direction so let's see how it happens for example water freezes to form ice how do you make ice cube in a tray first we fill the tray with water then place it in the freezer freezer is very cool the water in the freezer loses heat to the chilly air and water is transformed into ice so freezing in the process of the transformation of water into solid so the process by which a liquid changes into a solid on cooling is called freezing so ice is a solid form of water now ice melts it turns into a liquid which is water but how it turns into a liquid if we leave an ice cube outside the freezer and place it in a warm area the ice cube will absorb heat from the warmer air surrounding and then it melts and becomes liquid so the process by which a solid changes into a liquid on heating is called melting when water is heated longer small bubbles start forming this process is called boiling when we boil water water changes into water vapor which is a gas gas or steam rises up from boiling water this is called evaporation so the process by which water changes into water vapor or steam on heating is called evaporation If you hold a lid or a plate above boiling water the steam touches the lid which is a cooler surface then the steam cools down and changes into tiny water droplets this is called condensation so the process by which a gas changes into a liquid on cooling is called condensation So children today we have learned a very important informative and interesting topic if you like the video then please like share and subscribe the channel for more videos thank you